From the outskirts of Mumbai, you can see the mountainous terrain looming in the distance. These mountaintops are home to remote tribal villages where every resource requires immense effort to bring back home. Education is one of these resources, as finding enough teachers for quality schools is a constant challenge. We have taken up the primary education because the goals are very far off to achieve. The children has to be really pepped up. Dr. Madhav Sade and his team at Bombay Mothers and Children Welfare Society have installed a series of e-learning programs in village schools throughout the region. These are self-contained computer programs projected onto a large screen in the classroom, no internet required, that offer lessons in a variety of subjects including English, math, biology, and Hindi. When the students are very young, then they use computer easily. We train them in the computers, we train them into a games, but the long-term project is enhancing their educational quality and bringing up the generation on a different platform. But setting up the computer program is just one piece of the puzzle. Getting the kids into the classroom is another. In 2014, the school only had three students. Part of the problem was lack of nutrition. The struggle for food and good health took priority over education. We found that all these tribal kids are very low in a BMI and it was needed to increase their BMI because their health was not coming along for education. They were not strongly built, uh, their absentees were quite a bit, and their learning abilities were not up to the mark. So we decided that we should go on a nutritional support program. And between the added calories and the new learning system, attendance went up tenfold, over 30 students. A year later, the difference was visible. This is a turning point in our learning process because uh, earlier students are uh, not talk with us confidently, but uh, due to this e-learning process, the students are very confident. They use words like English words. One key value from this program is that it allows the students to teach themselves and their families. They even come in at night to continue their studies. And it's paying off. These students won first place at a science fair competing with 150 schools for their presentation on the adverse effects of smoking. What we do for the children is really going to affect their future. I think uh, they can go for good higher studies. From leaving the village, they can work outside and they can earn good money. But Mumbai is overcrowded and the work opportunities are hard to come by. So the idea is that as the children advance their studies, they also return home to transform their villages into productive communities with a much higher standard of living. What we see grossly is that definitely there is a change and the gap between the urban and the rural divide is decreasing rapidly. And while the costs are minimal, they still exist. One e-learning system is roughly 1500 US dollars and that lasts for three years. Bombay Mothers relies on giving programs through organizations like Buy One Give One to keep their programs alive and thriving. We look at it as a self-sustainable organization because the donors always feel happy if the program continues for a longer time. And those providing support are more than happy with the results. These Buy One Give One business partners recently visited a village where e-learning had just been installed. Are we ready to open up this special school? <laughs> just seeing the, their expressions, I can only imagine that there's a sense of change. It's just, uh, just an astonishing experience to watch them so obediently and reverently just watch what is on the screen. So absolutely amazing. This is very basic program. These, most of the things that we are doing are replicable. Most of the things that we are doing are scalable. Most of the things that we have done are innovative. Bombay Mothers offers other programs for these communities like planting trees and vocational training for the adults that in turn provide sustainable income. But e-learning is their cornerstone, the foundation with the greatest return, as he carries the hope to transform these villages for generations to come.